Racially or religiously motivated hate crime. Now, that's when someone is specifically targeted because of their ethnic origin or religious beliefs. In tonight's South Today, we can reveal that there's been a huge increase in reports of these crimes across the South. Yet the number of people being charged remains low. One victim has told us how the verbal abuse he received left him feeling like an outsider in his own country. Matt Graveling has this report. Stop talking to me. Why are you follow me, guy? Why are you follow me? Why are you follow me, guys? They hit me. They laughing at me. No respect to me. I felt like I can do nothing, you know. I try to get back, uh, try to go home. They start follow me and attack me again. Why are you beating me? Just one instance of a growing problem. Yes, you did. Exactly. They laughing because I spoke Polish. They think they don't have to respect me because I'm Polish, because I'm below the human. Marta's experience in Wiltshire is part of a huge rise in racially and religiously motivated hate crime. However, despite an increase in reports, fewer people are being charged. I was devastated. I was, I was angry. I was upset, I was devastated, I was furious. When people hear you speak with an accent, they already want to find out where you're from and usually it doesn't end in a nice thing. I got that phone snap it in half. And I won't be paying for a new one. Because it happens to her, it will happen to me and it happened before. And will the police take it seriously, do you think? No. They're not taking it seriously. If they took it seriously, something would have been done about that.